Well, since you guys enjoyed the versus video that I created for this image right here that was trending on Twitter and other platforms, well, I decided that did so well, I'm going to be going for a more controversial versus battle and give you guys the definitive explanation on who would win in a fight between Piccolo and Vegeta. But before I begin, let me know in the comment section below who you believe would win in a fight and why. I want to hear your entire explanation. I want an entire college graded paper on what your thoughts are and why you took this stance. Because I have a lot of people in a lot of these verses and honestly in a lot of my comment sections just throwing random shit out there and not really giving us any sort of explanation that makes any tangible sense. There are a lot that do. I have a lot of fans that actually kind of put the time and effort into giving me an explanation as to who would win in a fight or why this is this or why I'm wrong in a certain direction. But I do have a lot that don't. But you guys know who you are that actually put some effort in your explanations. So if you are that kind of guy, if you are built different, let me know why your contestant would win this battle. Now, I do think it's really funny because Vegeta and Piccolo almost historically are the only two badass villains turned good fan favorite characters that actually really officially have never fought each other and this has been documented throughout all of Dragon Ball not including obviously Dragon Ball fan mangas and Dragon Ball fan animations. This is so true that this was part of a skit from Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Z abridged where they were like they never fought each other before so I thought wouldn't it be interesting for my second versus video on this channel to see who would win in this confrontation and why and I'm gonna tell you guys what the right answer here is in this video now I'll be honest and I'll be the first one to admit that in recent videos I have been glazing over Vegeta's power and his transformation, specifically Ultra Ego, one which originally I thought was really cool, then I found lackluster after the battle was over, but now I'm kind of getting back on it, back on the hype train, especially after the newest Dragon Ball Super chapter. But in this situation specifically, Vegeta almost stands literally no chance against Piccolo because of the overwhelming power that Piccolo has in his moveset. So Gohan has said that Goku and Vegeta would have a hard time defeating Cell Max. That is something that we all know from the movie and from the manga, that's what he said. Now it is unclear whether Gohan knows about Ultra Ego, but he absolutely knows about Ultra Instinct. This is years later much later than the granola arc. This is years later and Gohan literally saw Ultra Instinct and honestly it's high probability that he knows about Ultra Ego as well since it has been a long time. In the movie Dragon Ball Super Super Hero we get to see both the Gammas basically get one-shotted by Orange Piccolo which is Piccolo's ultimate transformation and it is stated to us that the Gammas are actually as powerful as Super Saiyan Blues. Now, they don't have God Key, but they are within that level. Personally, for me, I believe that Super Saiyan Blues could still defeat them because I don't believe that these androids are built stronger than the hidden potential of a Super Saiyan Blue, basically. But since we know that Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue forms are not stronger, than Orange Piccolo and we know that Gohan has stated that Goku and Vegeta could not defeat Cell Max the way that we saw him and we saw that Piccolo literally threw up hands and went blow for blow against Cell Max in the Dragon Ball Super manga and the anime and was still barely holding on but attempting his best he was hanging in there. To me I take all that information and say to myself that Piccolo is gargantuanly overpowered not only in durability but attack strength as well with how badly he was beating this incomplete version of Cell Max. And remember, this incomplete version of Cell Max, he was supposed to be as strong as Broly said so by Toriyama once he was completed. 
and he was nearly completed before he was forcibly activated and became a rage-filled monster. So that means that Piccolo was able to face off against an almost Broly level threat and still hang in till the very end till Gohan jumped into the scene. So that really cements Piccolo's power and before I get anybody in the comment section saying that well Vegeta really did a really good job against Broly, Broly couldn't transform, Broly was facing off against a Vegeta that was already a calculated and trained warrior and I'm talking specifically and I'm pretty sure Toriyama is too on Berserker Broly that level of power not the base version. But that fight is very important to this discussion because Vegeta again as I stated harnessed the durability aspect of Ultra Ego by making himself harder to defeat to gain that level of strength. So, realistically, if he was getting beat up by somebody like, say, Orange Piccolo, you would think that that would up the level of power and he would be able to use that to redirect it to Orange Piccolo. The problem is that I find it very hard to believe that somebody like Orange Piccolo would not be hitting Vegeta with haymakers that he could not get back up from. I do think that somebody like orange piccolo would make it so vegeta would find himself in the same situation he did against granola where granola basically beat down his durability where ultra ego's main characteristic which is reusing that that pain into power really kind of didn't even work because his body was too badly beaten it would be the exact same thing against somebody like orange piccolo ultra ego vegeta would not stand a chance against somebody that strong, that overwhelmingly strong. And Piccolo would beat down Vegeta so hard before Vegeta would be able to use that redirected pain towards strength against Orange Piccolo. In other words, Orange Piccolo would just last longer in this fight. Now this is going off the information that we have, not only from Ultra Ego Vegeta from the Granola arc, but stuff that Toriyama has said, what we've seen in the in the manga for the superhero arc and in the movie, as well as the fight between Vegeta and Broly. But those are my thoughts on who would win this fight. Let me know in the comment section below who you believe would win this fight and give me your answer. Let's have a discussion in the comment section below. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.